Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So 2020 has been just a crazy mess, to put it lightly, and many of us are working from home and looking for new ways that we can get some side hustles going because maybe you're out of work or maybe you're just trying to add to the income you have so you can have a little safety and security. But I have some tips and tricks for creators or people working from home, maybe even for those who are just doing meetings and their kids doing some homeschooling, things like that. I've got a lot of different little things that kind of give something for everybody, hopefully. So also I want to give a big shout out and thanks to WD for sending me out there in VME and sponsoring this video and making it possible. So the first thing that I have is the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now this is not a budget mic, you can get much cheaper ones, but this is really a two-in-one microphone and it has some really smart features. So I can justify the cost because you're gonna be replacing two different mics basically. So let me explain. So this mic can be used on your camera and it will record anything that your camera records automatically. It turns on, turns off. So no more missed audio because you forgot to turn on your microphone. But that's not it. It also is a USB-C microphone and it has a mount on the bottom where you can mount it to a tripod. And so now you have a desktop microphone. So this is very lightweight. Most desktop microphones are heavy and you can't like throw them in your bag and take them with you if you need to do some recording on the go. But this is one microphone you can take with you, use at home or at work or anywhere you have to go. And it's super lightweight. You do have to have some kind of a tripod or stand for it, but it allows you to get any kind of audio recording you've done. And in fact, this whole video is being shot with this microphone. Okay, so the next one comes from our sponsor, WD. If you have a computer and you have a lot of storage, you probably have a spinning hard drive like this tray size down here. Well, it has been adapted and it has my normal SSD in here. And this upgrade is going to just blow many of you away. So most of us think of SSDs and we think how fast they are. They really are fast, but this one is an older version of SSD. The newer version, if you're not familiar with computer stuff, is called an NVMe. And this is the WD Blue SN. 550. And this is insanely fast compared to the drive that I was using before, like this one right here. So this simple little upgrade can make your computer feel so much faster from the time you push that button to the time you go and sit down. It's just ready faster. Everything you do is faster. If you save photos from your camera or videos, open apps, anything like that is so much faster. And here's why. Here's some speed tests I've done with the old one. And it was getting 549.21 on that top left number right there column. That is the read speed. And you can pause it and read each one of those little lines. I'm not going to do that. But with the new one, that top same line there, I'm getting 2,449.94 as my max read speed. So that is way fast. And even the write speed is 1974.87. So if you compare those side by side, this thing is screaming fast compared to the old one. And that's still not slow speeds. They're just getting to be dated speeds. So that's definitely an amazing upgrade for any computer you have that can take these kind of drives. So it's really easy to install them. It may seem intimidating, but all you do is look for this little slot right here and you, you can check out your motherboard. There's some laptops that can even accept these. And it may seem scary, but they couldn't be any easier to install. You put these in at a slight angle and it'll just kind of slide in that groove there. And then you just press it back. And normally you'd have a screw that screws down, but mine actually has a faceplate that covers it. And that's really it. It is that simple. It's not scary. Make sure your computer is off if you don't know anything about computers. And then there's all kinds of guides online. You will have to go in and format this, but to save time, I will just let you guys look up how to do that. But it's really easy. And it's really kind of amazing to think of how much faster this computer runs now with this little drive compared to the old drive. And look how tiny they are. It's like the size of a stick of gum. Now, if you are on a budget for $44.99 right now, well, I'd go ahead and get the $50 one. You can add some and just add your most important things on it. And it really will speed up so much and you can save your other drives for just space. But if you look here at the top read and write speeds, the top read speed is 2,600 megabits per second. And I was getting 2449. So this thing is a really fast drive. Even though it is a budget friendly drive, it will definitely speed things up for you. Okay, so this next guy doesn't look like much. Normally this just hangs out underneath your camera and this is an Arca Swiss mounting plate. And for those of you who don't know, that's just a universal standard so that it'll adapt to a lot of different tripods um, and it works really well with many different uses. 
all being compatible with each other. But this has a trick up its sleeve. Instead of just hanging out underneath your camera, you can actually use this to mount a phone. It's got a sturdy phone mount built right into it. And it adds an additional cold shoe mount up here on the top. So if we turn it over and look here, you can see kind of the groove where it slides in there. And this is all built really solid and really well. So you can use this from everything from your little RGB lights so you can get some better lighting. And as long as you have the adapters, you can use it like with your Rode Wireless Go or even a full-size mic like I showed you earlier, the Rode NTG video, my, what, whatever the model is, it's all gonna be linked down below in the description because these names can get tricky. Okay, so that was part one. Now for part two. Most of the time when you're using your phone, you use the rear camera to get the best quality, but sometimes you need to use the front camera because you need to frame yourself in there or maybe your family photo or something like that, but it's always better to use the rear camera or maybe you need to just set your phone down somewhere and like take a picture of a wild animal so you need to be backed up. Well, if you have the Apple Watch, you can use it as a viewfinder. You can take your photos from the middle button the dial over on the side will zoom in and zoom out. It even changes through the wide and zoom cameras. Off to the right, you have settings that you can change. You can even change from front to rear camera. It just opens your camera if your camera is not open. So like maybe you set your phone down and the camera app closed, you can still initiate it. You can turn on all kinds of things like HDR, a three second timer, things like that. And all that just from your watch. Okay, so the next question is something I get asked about so often is my background. So this is my wooden desk. Um, I've just switched back to using it. Uh, it's one I customized. I've done a whole video on this. It's a stand-up desk with a wooden top. And these colorful backgrounds are actually mouse pads or desk pads. And they're double-sided, so you get two different colors. And I even have more colors. They just weren't all in this one roll here. But... They're two sided, so you get two different colors, and I think they're they're under twenty dollars a piece. I can't remember which ones I actually got and how much they are, but you can get these pretty inexpensively, and they're like faux leather. So if you get close, you can see the texture to them. But I don't like that. But from a distance, you don't really notice it. But they add so much color, and these are like waterproof. So if you can spill your coffee on it, wipe it up, um, no problems. I mean, I guess you could stain some if it was a light enough one, and you had some like black coffee. There's a possibility if you didn't clean it up immediately, but I've also used another mouse pad here that has some texture to it, but anything you can do to introduce some new color and funness really can help whether you're doing photo work or video work or even just a photo for, uh, you know, your business or anything like that. This is just a way to add color without using paper because paper just gets destroyed and you got to replace it and it creases. And if you noticed earlier, these did have some creases, but they, they like warm up and just like smooth back down. So... This is another one. I don't know if this is gonna work, but acrylic's really expensive and I have to like store it somewhere. So I found this as a desk um, like protector, table protector. And I wanna see if I can get some reflections. This is hard because it's been sitting in the cold and it's not really one to unroll, but you can see my uh, overhead camera reflecting here, which we're gonna talk about next but I'm hoping to get some really awesome reflections. Um, you just have to be set up at the appropriate angle and all that, which I'm not, but then I can roll these up with my other ones and just put them away and not have to worry about breaking a piece of acrylic. Okay, so the next thing is my camera. If you're in a small space, mounting things to your ceilings saves so much floor space, but this is an overhead camera mount and I have it with a ball head and my ceilings are really low and I have it on the lowest setting and there are different sizes you can get. Now I have this connected to the bin box and um, it doesn't have the greatest reviews on Amazon, but personally I don't have really any issues with it. It's been working great for me but it allows you to wirelessly transmit whatever is playing on your camera so you can view it, you can um, check out if things you know are in frame or out of frame or maybe you need to move something because you see it's not something you want in your frame or just to line it up, which I actually don't have mine all sitting perfect right now, but I could if I needed to. And there's actually like zebras and I just kick those off. My camera has some settings I can control, so like ISO and things. Um, I don't want it on 720. You also have lines here. If you saw my video the other day, you know how bad I needed this because I had it completely off-centered and um, it looked terrible, but it was an unboxing so I couldn't redo it. I can start and stop my camera, even take a photo. So it's just a really cool way and it's like a hundred bucks or maybe sometimes I think they've had them for around 80 something dollars lately. So it's a really cool way to see what's on your camera um, and it's much more stable than my phone app because 
I just don't even use it anymore. I hate it so much. Um, and you can use it for a full size uh, display if you need to too. I just like the iPad because I can take it with me. So the very last step, I'm not even gonna actually show you this because there's many of these online depending on what you have. But if you are doing any kind of streaming online, check out whether or not your camera that you have right now is capable of streaming. So Canon has a whole slew of cameras that can stream to like everything now because it's such a big deal. You may have to update your uh, firmware and download a special app, but here is all the lists of the Canon models that are able to stream. So there's several models I've had here in the past. And these, so these are like even older models, like, Sorry, a lot of vehicle just went by. Um, but there's there even some of the older models, so it doesn't have to have the latest, greatest software. So you go in here and you'll select download, and I just closed out of that because I didn't want to actually enter in all my info. And once you do that, you're ready to go. It's so easy to do. You do have to have it plugged in if you have a GoPro. GoPro, guess what, has made an update. Everybody has seen this demand um, with your kids having to be online, you need to be online, things like that. Maybe your GoPro isn't the best camera, but if it's the only camera you have, guess what? That's the best one. So Insta360, same way. All kinds of different cameras have updates. So instead of going out and buying a new one, check to see if the one you already have has that capability before you spend any money. All right, guys, that's really all I have for you guys today. Again, a big thanks to WD for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.